A former Mason police canine officer is on the hook for thousands of dollars in training costs after resigning. It's raising eyebrows for many in the community, and it's our top story at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. It's an update to a story that we first brought you on Friday. Former Mason police officer Hayden Wilfong is expected to pay the city $3,000 for his training. While the bill has sparked reaction online, city officials say it's all part of the contract. Josh Sanchez took a closer look, and he's here for you now with more Josh. Yeah, that's right, Sharon Siobhan. An invoice sent to Wild Fong last week shows that he still owes more than $1,000 to the city after his last paycheck covered part of the cost. The update has left one city council member with questions about the timing and the appearance of the fee. Not getting a paycheck in today's economy is stressful enough. We took the whole thing and I thought, was there any wiggle room to make a different decision? Mason City Council member Rita Vogel brought her concerns to Monday's meeting about a former Mason police officer being left with a $3,000 bill for canine training. In early February, Hayden Wildfong resigned amid an investigation over an unintended gun and utility belt left in the high school weight room. He was reunited with his partner, K-9 Tamarack, after several days of uncertainty of where the city's only police dog would go. City Manager Deborah Stewart says the hefty bill stems from an agreement that Wild Fong would pay back for initial training if he did not stay on the job for five years. Based on that, we knew his final paycheck would not cover the reimbursement for the training under the MOU and that he would be left with a debt to the city of Mason. In the Memorandum of Understanding Wild Fong signed, it lays out the terms for the employee to repay the city for the training. Stewart says Wild Fong's final paycheck of unused vacation and personal time was the only one the city was allowed to touch. Now, there was some concern among those in the audience about the $20,000 raised by Mason Rotary in 2020 to cover the cost of equipment and training and for K-9 Tamarack. But the mayor and city manager maintain that those funds have been exhausted and are not related. Sherry, Siobhan.